everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing amazing as always so let's just get straight into this video really so for today's video as you can tell by the title and thumbnail I am only going to be eating yellow foods from the supermarket for 24 hours so before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's just get into this video. Okay, yes, yeah, so as you can tell, it is now morning and it's our breakfast time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still in my pyjamas. So that's, that is why I am looking kind of rough because I literally woke up not that long ago, but I am ready for breakfast. So yesterday I actually went to Tesco's at this time and literally got everything that's yellow. And it was quite interesting because literally my basket just looked, obviously it just looked, it looked yellow because the packaging was yellow, the, in, the contents inside was yellow. So yeah, so I just kind of thought, I just went to different aisles and just kind of looked and just kind of worked out what I could have for like my breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I know this is not like 24 hours, but when I do these 24 hours challenges, I just mean like the day, if <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so yes, as I said, it is now breakfast time and for breakfast, it's going to be quite healthy. I have got this. Yeo, Yeo Valley Organic Lemon Curd Cremo Bar Your Live Yogurt. Um, I think I've had something similar to this before. I think in when I did my um, only eating red food for 24 hours, I had something similar like a strawberry yogurt, but this is a lemon, so I'm going to be having that. And then I, <laughs> I'm going to be having this Nestle Lindor's Quark Vanilla Pot thing. I, am not gonna lie guys, I'm really not sure what this is, so it might be again another yoghurt, but I'm just kind of, if it is, I'm gonna mix them both in together and just kind of have it like that, or I was kind of hoping it's yolks, but I don't think it is, because I'm shaking it and it doesn't feel it, but, um, yes, so I might just have it like mixed together sort of thing. I literally, I found it so hard trying to find like yellow foods for breakfast because like there isn't really. I mean, there's cereal which is yellow, but I didn't. That's I feel like that was just too easy. So yes, and then for my drink, I'm going to have this mango passion fruit and orange smoothie. So I mean, if I just tilt the camera down a little bit, all this is yellow so <laughs> very yellow breakfast um yeah very yellow breakfast so yeah i'm going to make this now and um and then do a little taste test for you i'm quite quite excited actually so, yeah. <laughs> okay so i've just made my breakfast and not gonna lie i'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> Just because it's literally just, they're both yogurts basically, and I'm not a big fan of yogurt, but I'm hoping because I love the taste of lemon and like, and vanilla. So the, the Nestle one was basically like, yeah, still a yogurt. So, um, so I'm hoping that like those tastes will sort of, you know, kind of make it better basically. <laughs> Disguise the fact that I'm actually eating yogurt because I hate, like, I'm a weird girl, I like, I don't mind, like, flavoured yoghurts, which I guess this is, like, I love, like, my Activia yoghurts and stuff like that, but, like, if you just give me plain yoghurt, like, Greek style yoghurt and stuff like that, no, I literally can't. So, I literally, like, mixed it together, it doesn't look like I have, it's a white bowl of yoghurt, <laughs> basically, um, so I'm hoping this will fill me up, it gets quite healthy. I guess because I think it's all high in stuff. I'm not good at my nutrients, honestly. I should be, but I'm really not. So I don't know if you can see that, guys, but it's yeah, it's literally just a bowl of yogurt. I literally just mix them both together. So I'm gonna literally give a taste test. Fingers crossed, I like it because, like I said, I just yeah, me and yogurt just do not get on. Um, and then, like I said, I've also got my smoothie here so i know this does this is not really yellow foods which is kind of annoying 
but it's in a yellow packet so I'm kind of giving that a win for me um it's hard to tell guys when things are like when the packets are like you know are not see-through <laughs> like what is inside so I uh, maybe this is a loss that this is not like exactly yellow I could like cheat and put through colouring in it but you know I genuinely thought that the lemon curd yoghurt thing would have like would be yellow because lemon is yellow so technically it is yellow because like lemon is yellow so I'm literally trying to find excuses so but yeah anyway I'm gonna give it a taste test this is something different to what I normally have also it's quite funny because the cereal that I have here at the moment at home is actually yellow so I could actually just have that, which I might do after this because that is yellow. Like that's not cheating, you know what I mean? It kind of is because I, I always have it every day, but the cereal is yellow. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm going to give it a taste test anyway. We'll see. Cheers. Mm. It's actually not that bad. I can sort of taste the yogurt, but luckily the lemon is overriding it and I love lemon like it kind of just reminds me of like you know like a lemon drizzle cake like the drizzle bit of it it's actually not too bad but I don't think I could eat a whole bottle of it not gonna lie okay I think I've got a bit of the vanilla in this spoonful as well so I'm gonna give that a taste test mm. yeah it's not too bad okay <laughs> not enjoying not fully enjoying it but you know. Okay, I'm now going to try um, the smoothie. So I'm hoping this is better. I mean, I love mango, passion fruit and orange. And I always have orange juice anyway. So, yeah. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Yeah, it reminds me of something that I've had before. Like, um, the, you know those innocent smoothies you get? Mm. Mm. that smoothie is really good and it's jealous so that's a double thumbs up okay so I think I might actually just eat my cereal just because a it is yellow so it's more winning than this and I just I know I can't eat a bowl full of yogurt I kind of felt at the breakfast bit but you know it is what it is so I'm gonna enjoy that now and um, I shall catch you when it's lunchtime. Okay, so as you can tell, I have now gotten ready and means some hours have passed and it is now lunchtime. Also, um, I thought I'd wear something yellow just to match the theme. Uh, so I've just got this on, on this like yellow crop top, crop jumper thing, so um, to match the theme. So yes, uh, anyway, yeah, so like I said, it is lunchtime and by lunchtime I've got a bit of a bit of a feast going on. Um, most of it is healthy, but there is one thing that is unhealthy. <laughs> okay, so my main thing that I am going to have for my lunch, which I'm quite excited about, um, it's, this is going to be a bit of a revelation for you people, but I am going to, dropped it, <laughs> I am going to be having a pot noodle now the reason why this is a revelation is because i have never had a like full-on pot noodle i have tried it i've tried like a spoonful of someone's but i've never actually had like a whole pot noodle to myself uh just because i just it sounds quite bad but i just know it's so unhealthy and it just doesn't like scream to me and i know quite a lot of people have this as like a quick little like lunch or a dinner you know sort of thing just to if they're like rushed off their feet for some for whatever reason and which is fair enough you know but i just like it doesn't like i can for me if i was to have a quick lunch i would just get like a sandwich or like a meal deal or something you know what i mean like something a bit more substantial than just some noodles in a pot i know that might be some controversial to some people but that's me, my life is a controversial person. <laughs> Joking. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try this like for the first time. I've actually never tried this flavour, and it's literally like it's the original curry. 
original curry. So I'm guessing it's like an original, like one of the original flavours of pot noodle. But I've literally no. I tried like, what have I tried? I tried like the green. I see, I don't even know the flavours. I don't even know the flavours of pot noodles. That's how like uneducated I am. Also, ignore the noise in the background, that's the washing machine on. So, so hear me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have that basically. <laughs> Big run over. <laughs> gonna have that. So I'm going to do a taste test for you because, like I said, I've never had this flavour before. I'm also going to be nibbling on some baby corn. Again, it's hard to find yellow foods that are actually yellow. Like, I mean, breakfast was kind of a fail, but I did end up having that cereal. It's literally, let me just get it for you so you can just see that I'm not cheating. I literally, yellow, yellow, literally just had my grapes, yellow. So actually, it was better than the yogurts. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to nibble on some baby, baby corn. I love sweet corn, um, but I much prefer this to actual big corn. Again, me being a weirdo. I'm also going to be having a classic banana. Can't go wrong with a banana. Love a banana. Haven't had one in such a long time, not going to lie. So, it's going to be nice. So, you can see like a healthy sort of theme going on. And then I'm just going to be chopping on some pineapple. There was this or like mango and stuff like that, but I much prefer pineapple to mango. Um, focus on me. Why is my camera so like bad focusing? I'm bad. Um, yeah, so just gonna be nibbling on some pineapple as well. A little nibble. And then for a drink, I got this Oasis Citrus Punch drink, basically. <laughs> um, so. Uh, I know I've I have had an Oasis before, but I'm not a big fan of Oasis. But I'm hoping this does actually look really nice and refreshing as well on a nice hot day like today. So um, yeah, so that is basically my lunch. A bit of a mixture of everything, but no, nevertheless, it is lunch. It's food. Um, so I'll probably just do a taste test of the pot noodle, just because obviously I've had. And of the Oasis as well, um, just because I've had bananas and pineapple and sweet corn before, so I know what it tastes like. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make this now, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back in my usual lunch lunch spot now. Um, I have now made my pot noodle. Not going to lie, that was a bit of a uh, confusion. <laughs> just because like, it says, like, obviously this is my first time actually making a pot noodle, so... But like it said to like fill to the line, but there was two lines in the pot, so I was like a bit confused. It didn't work out first time, so I put a bit more boiling water in it. Now it's good, but the smell, I can see why people like it, because the smell is amazing. I love it. I love a curry, so um, yes, it's quite hot, so I don't know whether I should leave it for a little bit. But I'm not going to show it to you because it's very, very liquidy, but I don't know if you can like literally see the steam coming out of it. Um, so I'm going to give it a taste test. It does look very good, not going to lie. And I love noodles, so oh my god, the steam coming off it. I mean, alright, let's try and get a big spoonful-ish. Okay. No, it's like boiling hot. Mm. Ow. See, this is why I shouldn't film these types of videos because it just goes everywhere. Great. <laughs> I'm literally right. I'm in a bit of a mess right now. I'm going to come back to you. I'm probably going to wait for this to cool down. And okay, I've kind of cleared myself up. That just went, I don't even know what happened then. Um, I'm going to let that cool down just for a little bit, just because it's very hot. But from the taste I did get from some, it is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just leave that to cool down and then I'll pick up the camera when I'm like now eating it. Um, but I thought I'd quickly try my Oasis as I can actually, um, <laughs> I can actually try it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't really normally have Oasis really. I kind of just go for other drinks, but Look at that, this drink does look very nice. So it's a citrus punch. I'm gonna guess it's got like lemon and stuff. It kind of smells like Fanta or like a cheap Fanta, like Orangina or stuff like that. Anyway. Mm. Oh, that is actually quite nice. Mm. It just feels like summer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you're on like a field. Yesterday I went to one of my friend's um, little girl, um, siblings. Um, 
sports day and this drink just reminds me of that where you're just kind of chilling on like a field or something i know it's such a weird thing to say but just mm. it just does mm. that's actually good so if i was to go get an oasis i'll get that i think because like the other oasis i've tried is like black currant or something and i don't I'm not really a big fan of black currant so yeah that's good um so yeah that's good um i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna leave the pot noodle to cool for a little bit because that is Way too hot, and yeah, that'll soon fit. Okay, so I've just finished my pot noodle. Um, I was gonna film having it, but it was just like still quite hot, and it was very like messy and stuff. But um, yeah, overall it was actually really nice. I actually didn't mind it, but I def it's definitely not something that i would like go for like i'd fancy that all oh, you know what fancy a pot noodle whereas i know like a load of other people are like that um but i'm just different i guess <laughs> um but it was really nice taste was really really good like it's not too spicy but it wasn't um which is good because i'm not very good with spice um and yeah it was just very very messy and i had to like cool it down um like wait for it to cool down for a while because it was just so hot but um all in all i give it that a thumbs up it was very very nice and i can understand the rave around it so yes uh i've also just had my banana and i've also had a bit of the baby corn not that nice the baby corn i don't know if i was meant to like cook it or something or if i was okay to have it cold like raw i mean i know it is because it's vegetable but you know what i mean it's just Maybe it would have tasted better if I did, because there was, like, cooking instructions on the back. Um, but, yeah, I, it wasn't really that good, so I only had about two. Uh, so I've just got my pineapple left to eat. I'm not going to eat all of it, because that's a load. Um, <laughs> that's a lot. But, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a very good lunch. A very, mi of a, like, a mix-match lunch. But, um, again, quite healthy, which is good. So, yeah, I've got my pineapple and my drink to drink as well. So, rest of my drink to drink, I mean. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to have this now. And the next time you'll see me will be dinner time. And, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'll wait to uh, obviously say what it is when it's dinner time. But, it's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's actually now around, like, four o'clock um and i know i did say that i was gonna film next when it was dinner but i forgot that i actually got a snack uh for um for this video so i'm gonna try it now also before i actually show you this and try the snack i just want to talk about talk to you about the weather right now because like i don't know where you guys are living but here it's raining one minute and then sunny the next. Like, I literally went out for an hour and it chucked down with rain. And then, like, ten minutes later, it was sunny. I mean, what is going on? It's just, this weather is not weathering. Please make it make sense because it's just, it's confusing. It really is. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Um, so, yeah, for the snack, it's quite annoying because I didn't actually fully, like acknowledge what i've done <laughs> basically for a snack i got this um urban fruit gently baked pineapple um so i'm quite excited for this to try it but what's annoying is obviously for my lunch i had pineapple <laughs> so i'm having a lot of pineapple today but this is obviously slightly different because it's a snack i hope so anyway because i have not opened it up so i'm gonna um open it up and then show you and try it out I'm quite hungry as well. So, yeah. God, honestly, some packets are so hard to open. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just smelt it. It just did not smell that good. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know if you can see that little like pieces like this. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm a bit scared. I don't know why. Mmm. That is good, if I had not already had pineapple. Um, very strong. But it says it's high in fibre, so that's good. God, I need water after that. Um, oh, 
This is interesting. How to draw an urban fruit pineapple. Straight from the pack in breakfast, dessert or baked goods, pre slash post workout. Well, that's good. Um, I would have continue these, but this is so strong and I've literally just had pineapple. And you know when it's like the pineapple's so strong, it like just makes your mouth so watery. But I will have these another time, that's for sure. Um, so, but they are really nice. They're actually not too bad. Thumbs up. So, um, yeah. All in all, good. It's just because I've just had pineapple. I'm just very pineappled out at the minute. So, um, but I should have really thought more about that. Thought it through more what I was buying. But I just kind of like saw it was yellow. I was like, saw it was a snack. So I was like, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, very good. Anyway, yeah. So I'm just gonna. Um, well, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna have these. I'm not. <laughs> I'm now gonna wait till dinner. And yeah. I'll see you at dinner time. Definitely. <laughs> okay guys, so it's a couple hours um, has passed now and it's now dinner time. And by the way, excuse the background noise, the TV's on. Um, and it's now dinner time like I just said. And for dinner, I got a blooming pizza. Okay, um, yeah, got a pizza. Good fellas pizza. It's like a margarita pizza. So stick into the yellow theme, obviously. So I, I, it was so hard trying to like pick out foods in the supermarket and like that's yellow. And I was like, what could I have that's like all yellow? And then I saw this and I was like, there's literally nothing on it. And I love me margarita pizza, so I can't go wrong with that. And yes, I'm just gonna put this on and have it. I mean, I know I like margarita pizza, so I probably won't do a taste test or anything because I know what it tastes like. But I've never had a good fellas pizza before, so. Anyway, I'm with my mate Tom as well. Hello. And um, he came over to uh, say hi. Also, please check out his music and everything. The Birch Music on Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, YouTube, everywhere. You'll find it everywhere. Yes, it's so good. It's like, like how would you describe it? Like, it's, it's a mix. Every single single I release is aimed to be different. However, the first couple are very electronic touches. The first one is drum and bass mixed with flash and hard style. Yeah. And then it goes into more chill out. So yeah. yeah. So do check that out. I'll link it below as well so you guys can click on the link below in my description. And yeah, so I'm just gonna put this on now, eat it, and then I'll probably end this video after I've eaten it if I can remember. If not, I'll probably have to end it tomorrow. Transition? Transition. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry that um, the ending of this like video is a bit all over the place and the lighting is literally not lighting. It's red, it's different colours. Yeah, I'm yeah, definitely the end of this video is all basic bit all mixed matched. Um it's just my mate Tom just came around as you saw just saw and I haven't seen him in a long time and it was so nice to have a good catch up with him and see Sorry, yeah, so I, um, yeah, so it's just, I just wanted, like, a bit of a catch-up, but, um, yeah, so the last clip you saw that I filmed, um, me having, um, put my, like, showing you that I'm having pizza, I'm <laughs> putting it in, basically, and I'm just having it now, which you can see, and it is amazing, it's very cheesy, it's delicious, I mean, obviously it doesn't look too yellow, but it's a margarita, it is basically yellow, um, and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. So a massive thumbs up. So I'm going to end this video here just because it's getting late now. And I know I just will never end it <laughs> if I don't end it now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as I did. Um, very interesting. I feel like as a whole, it was a really good video. Um, obviously the breakfast didn't quite go to plan, but the cereal, I had cereal and that was yellow. So I'm like, I'm kind of giving myself that because... It's not like I cheated because it was literally yellow, but it's just obviously I'd always I've been having I have that every morning. Um and then lunch was really good. I like I said I probably wouldn't have the pot noodle again. Um I mean I wouldn't mind it, obviously, if it got given to me, but I wouldn't like go for it if that makes sense. But uh, lunch was okay, the sweet corn wasn't that good. Um but I loved the mang the pineapple, that was really good, though I had a bit too much of that. And the pineapple snack was actually really nice, but obviously because I had I just had pineapple, it was very I just got like very sour taste in my mouth from it and 
I just couldn't like physically eat it, but I will eat it. <laughs> I will eat it another day. Um, and now my pizza. So, you know, it's been a good day. Love, um, love the colour yellow. You know, it's one of my favourite colours. And, um, yeah, I think it's been a success. So, um, yes, I'm going to end this video here. Hope you all have had a lovely, lovely week doing whatever you're doing. And... I shall see you next week for a brand new video. Check me out on this like a video bandwagon, whatever the saying is, <laughs> phrases. We're all putting them all out every week. I'm gonna run out of ideas at some point, but you know, at the moment it's going good. I've got so many good videos ahead, by the way. So do check that out. Anyway, love you and leave you. <laughs>